Hello friend, welcome to Goldland tutorial. This is Golden Thumb. In this video, we'll introduce the tool we use to write Goldland code, which is a, um, a generic general purpose editor named Atom. Okay, Atom. So let's search it, install Atom this guy does it look familiar guess who is the big guy behind the atom editor atom for mac os scroll down you see here by github wow so it's pretty reliable okay this guy is free okay so you you just need to click here to download that i already did that so but after because this is a general purpose uh, editor so it can support like uh, developing mm, i think java in javascript and uh maybe other many many other program language including goland so we need to add plugin for goland support okay so assume you already have that downloaded let's bring up our uh, atom so it's here and uh I can uh, okay so how can we install the Golang support so go to atom here uh, preference and click here install now search go okay there are many options and so I'll introduce one which is uh popular here you see the download is wow seven hundred ninety eight thousand or something okay so and its version number is pretty high six point one point zero go plus makes working with go in Adam awesome let's install that so this will support the auto complete feature when we write goland code yeah Without that, it's painful, right? Yeah, if you don't like it, you can go back to this page, right? This page and uninstall it or disable it. Yeah, so that's the feature of Atom. Now, let's try to, okay, we can close that. Maybe, yeah, let's restart it after at, uh, installing the, the plugin for Goland. So quit and uh well we are here go space okay we already have a chess chess move dot go okay open we can open this we should be have yeah syntax coloring right syntax coloring here and uh, here we can add a folder add folders yeah this is this is the folder I used for holding um, our go program so there's just one here and uh, shortly we'll create another one uh, let's try it let's try to create yeah we can right click here new file hello world hello world.go right like that so hello world haha <laughs> and um, we need a package right we need package main and import We only need the format. Uh, 
and uh, what's next <laughs> function right import let's close that so we can focus on that so function that's autocomplete you see right main hello world okay so format dot print mm -hmm. oh control space okay so we have a print that print line yeah the famous hello world no Hello world, like that. Okay, command as save it. What? What's wrong here? Do I need a parentheses here? Let's double check this guy. Main. Hmm? Import package main. Format the dot print. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't have that, when I save, yeah. Man, this doesn't make sense. Function. What does it mean? Main be declared. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's one of the rules of the Golang desk. <laughs> There cannot be two of them here, so, um, so we cannot, we cannot have two uh, main package here. So that's define. Let's put. Okay, let's let's delete this guy. Let's delete this guy. Um, because we will start from scratch. Hello world. Okay, so right click, delete. Move to charge. Now it should be okay. Save again. Yeah. This is the hello world of Golang. Let's run it here. So hello world, you see? Go run hello world. Yeah. That's it. So we we can also build our you see here we have only one file here, right? LS dash L long format. There's only one file here. We can build a, a binary runnable code um, program from this one. So it's go build this guy. Now that that's yeah. We have another right binary files. We have another binary file, right? Which is runnable. Using this one to run it. Yeah, this means executable, this one. Yeah. So hello world. And uh cool. What about this one? Go code is panicking. Um, don't worry about that. Go code. This has been closed. Okay. It's suggesting uh, installing something Go Plus. Um, additional feature are available while the Go signature. It shows function signature information in 
the status bar function signature yeah don't worry about that for now so yeah let's rewrite this code okay so to show the package is there oh no package main and import is there no no autocomplete import mm -hmm. fmt format and uh, function now we have autocomplete main and uh, fm fmt dot control p uh, control space uh, yeah so we do have some of them right autocomplete hello world it's not perfect it's free right what this is it because of the space here So it means we do need the mm. what if I remove that? And if we save, it will automatically add the input. Oh sorry about that i forgot this uh yeah uh, double quotes mm -hmm. um so let's do it again so package main let's just go directly to function right main and uh fmt dot print line yeah so hello world and command s save you see the import will be added automatically yeah cool right and uh, let's remove the hello world so we have only one file right here go run hello world yeah thank you for watching see you next time